common questions the world asks over and over are, if God is good, why is there suffering and poverty? If God is good, why is there death and sickness? Or if God is good, how can innocent people go to hell? Well, in Genesis 3, we find the answer to all of those questions. And spoiler alert, it wasn't God that messed things up. Now, we all know the story of Adam, Eve, the serpent, and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. But what they probably didn't realize then was that through this disobedience of God's command, part of this knowledge of evil is the experience of evil. By eating of the fruit, they were letting evil in, and with sin comes misery. That's why God hates sin. In his book, Choosing My Religion by Sproul, he explains this concept. We want to be saved from our misery, but not from our sin. We want to sin without misery, just as the prodigal son wanted inheritance without the father. The foremost spiritual law of the physical universe is that this hope can never be realized. Sin always accompanies misery. There's no victimless crime and all creation is subject to decay because of humanity's rebellion from God. In Romans 5 verse 12, Paul stated it like this, When Adam sinned, sin entered the world. Adam's sin brought death, so death spread to everyone, for everyone sinned. To put this in terms we can relate to, Genesis 3 is where the real pandemic began. It infects 100% of mankind and only one person has defeated it. The answer, the cure, the immunity or antibodies, if you will, can only be found in the blood of Jesus. That is why the cross was necessary. That is why his resurrection is our hope. Because Jesus beat this disease called sin, we can too. Verse 15 continues. But there is a great difference between Adam's sin and God's gracious gift. For the sin of this one man, Adam, brought death to many. But even greater is God's wonderful grace and his gift of forgiveness to many through this other man, Jesus Christ.